Hi friends, welcome back to Hobby Plus. In my last video, I show you the simple LED driver circuit. In this video, I will show you how to drive the LED panel with this circuit. Now, I will also tell you what is the purpose of this resistance, what is the purpose of also this resistance and which transistor use here and which transistor use here too. But suppose when your LED panel 24 volt LED panel you have and also 1.5 ampere so that is the wattage of this LED panel. I think you understand that that is the wattage. So we get three data one is 24 volt another is 1.5 ampere and 36 watt in that situation how can i design this circuit which transistor suitable uh, suitable for this <coughs> transistor which transistor suitable for this circuit and which transistor we will use here and what is the purpose all, all of them First of all, that is your wattage. So you have to use a transistor that is a main transistor that is a main transistor. So this transistor I use here. Why? I will tell you. Just hold on. Now look at this that is a TIP 31A transistor PNP so we can use here but why we choose this circuit so why we choose this transistor now I am going to detail look at this that is the data sheet of this transistor collector base voltage is 60 volt collector emitted emitter voltage is 60 volt collector uh, uh, sorry emitter base voltage is 5 volt collector current is 3 ampere collector peak current is 5 ampere base current is 1 ampere wattage i mean total dissipation at uh, 40 watt and so on that is the important part that is the important part and that is the important part so now we are looking for uh, we are looking to main circuit that is a 36 watt our transistor value is 40 watt that is a 1.3 ampere uh, sorry 1.5 ampere our transistor ampere is 3 that is the 24 volt our transistor base uh, collector emitter breakdown voltage is 60 so we can use this transistor in this circuit there is no problem at all but you have to remember one thing when your transistor give you 40 watt and use you use here 36 watt that means you have to use here a heat sink now we go to next point that is the current limiting resistance how this circuit will work i already told in my last video that is the value of this resistance 2.2 ohms why we use here I told everything but how can we calculate the wattage of this resistance if you know that no problem if you don't know that or if you have a Kono uh, if you have a any doubt you just go to my video uh, video um, that is resistance network or voltage divider circuit I make a video on this part and in this video if you watch this video 
you can calculate the wattage of this resistance but i am i am telling you something that is a 24 volt so in between collector to emitter dropping voltage is 0.2 don't bother it you calculate the 24 volt directly 24 volt divided by 2.2 ohms is equal to something which is your ampere and you know how to calculate the wattage if not go to this video second part is here what is the purpose of this resistance that is the supply voltage of this base of q1 so it is used for on this transistor and this transistor also control the ampere as a switch how it is work i already tell, told everything in my this video but when we replace this transistor but we don't replace this transistor that is the important part i tell you because base of this q1 get minimum ampere and minimum voltage so when minimum ampere and minimum voltage is required for this transistor that is the load of this transistor suppose it is 12 volt or it is 24 volt whatever it is no problem at all but minimum ampere because there is a big resistance so base goes to ground through this transistor and a little voltage come here because here is a small resistance so you cannot get high voltage here if this resistance will cut off so you do not change this tr transistor and what is the purpose suppose you put here 10k what will happen suppose you here you put here 47k what will happen nothing just delay make delay to on this led panel okay and also you get some heating problem from this transistor because this resistance going going to high that means you can get low voltage here and ampere also drop so this transistor not open properly so there is a big trouble and you get a heat problem here another thing so you control this resistance properly calculate this resistance properly that is a range of resistance or at resistance it is okay no problem at all you can 3.3k you can use uh, 4.4k or 4.7k or 4.2k no problem at all but do not make this resistance high or too much low that is the main thing in this video and you know i think you understand that and this video is helpful and you know what to do please do this Thank you, thank you very much.